Good morning, YouTube. It's... Hmm, I should look at the date before I say things. Good morning, YouTube. It's September 14th. And I know what you're probably thinking. Alaska, what is this? What is this? This is not where you usually vlog. I'm, I'm, I don't understand. Where, what is this? What is going? Well, future commenter, today I thought I'd give you guys a tour of my room. This is kind of a response to Dan Resler's video that he made last week. I realize I never gave you guys a tour of my room, and I know that's not of the utmost importance to you guys, but to me, my room is really important. Let's go. So I guess we can start out with what's on my door. I used to be really obsessed with musical theater, and I still am, but not as much anymore. So you'll notice a lot of the stuff in my room is musical theater themed. This is a note Kelly left me when she broke into my house one day and TP'd my room. And if you know me at all, or even follow me on Twitter, you'll notice that I tend to leave really important words out of sentences. So this is, we told you not leave house. Which is a funny joke for Kelly, because one time we broke into my friend Carrie's house and I left a sign similar to this on her door. Judge me. David Tennant. Now we go into my room, which I apologize is kind of a mess right now. If you notice behind me, I have this giant Toy Story 3 poster with Jessie's face on it. I got this poster for when I went to the Toy Story 3 premiere at Pixar. Also, Jessie's my favorite character from Toy Story. Down here, I have all the various letters and cards you've sent me over this past year, including the one that was covered in ketchup when I received it. This is my Princess and the Frog college calendar. I like this calendar because every month it gives me a sassy Tiana phrase. I'm making my own fairy tales. David Tennant, Tim Lincecum, Hank Green. Various designs of Margot Alaska posters. As I may have mentioned before, I did have a musical theater phase when I was growing up. And these are some of the remnants. These are all the shows I've seen. Desk time. Lightning McQueen car. Cars wine bottle. Toy Story 3 bracelet. Phone. Sunglasses. Mini moccasins. Nancy Drew book. Award I got for best featured actress in a non-musical. Which I guess technically means play. And my Johnny Durham 19 bracelet that I got at VidCon. A signed baseball I got from JT Snow when I was nine. Best wishes. My collection of CDs. Starting with the Beatles and ending with Hank Green and Alex Day. My giant literature textbook. Snacks. Nom 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 nom. Will Grayson and Paper Towns. I've lent Catherine's out to somebody and I still can't find looking for Alaska. Bookshelf time. Suzanne Collins and Harry Potter books. Nancy Drew computer games. 10 million Alaska points if you actually play these. VidCon money jar. Currently containing 75 cents. I've organized my young adult fiction from most intelligent to least intelligent, starting with Emma and ending with the click. Harry Potter action figures. You guys probably recognize this wall. More Spring Awakening flyers. This is something for you Glee fans. Lee Michelle, Jonathan Groff. I was on the Spring Awakening street team two years ago when it was playing in San Francisco, so I have tons and tons of Spring Awakening flyers. VidCon poster. Tom Slag. Creep. Map of Oahu. Next to my ukulele. The only way out of this labyrinth of suffering is to forgive. Up. Calendar. I wasn't lying to you when I told you I love Pixar. A bag from the Beatles shop in Liverpool. Toy Story 3 poster. And my friend's jacket that I was supposed to give back to her like three months ago. <laughs> Why yes, that is a signed picture of the Mythbusters. This is one of my favorite rhymes with Orange comics that came out around the time Deathly Hollows was being released. And as you can tell, the girl's name was Emily. This is a piece of concept art from Finding Nemo. I told you I was obsessed. These are all various pictures that I've taken. And the one at the very top there is my thespian certificate. Thespian, not lesbian, you pervs. Harry Potter poster. I actually hated Order of the Phoenix. I thought it was one of the worst movies, but Ron looks so hot. My bed. First of all, I apologize for the lighting over here. Sunshine. What a drag. This is one of my favorite pillows my mom got for me at Disneyland. You can see it is the entire map of Disneyland from the 1950s. It's so cool. I also love Disneyland a lot. Nightstand. Bitcoin badge. And I do love books. This is a ball I got signed by Tim Lincecum, who I love. I also have a ball signed by Pablo Sandoval. He also spelled my name wrong. Sunglasses collection. She's a Ray the Brave. I love you, she Mirror. Various tickets from various plays. Beatles album covers. Movie theater tickets. Pile of school stuff I'll probably never go through. I got this poster from the Musée d'Orsay exhibit in San Francisco. This is one of my favorite French Impressionist paintings. It's called The Dancing Lesson. It's by Edgar Degas. So that concludes the tour of my room. As you can tell, my room kind of explodes with self-expression. Sheila Ray, she's gonna be really loud. Sheila, she, Sheila, trying to film a video and you're just running around on a wheel. I can't stand blank walls. That's why my entire room is covered. I like that when people walk into my room, they can tell that it's my room just from all the various things that are on the wall. Tell me, what do you think your room says about you? Extra points if you make a video response. 
Margo, I'd also like to see what your new dorm room looks like. Especially with that Doctor Who poster. See you guys on Thursday!